Hello everybody! The first update of the new year hit us on the 10th of January, and while small, it came with many bug fixes and requested quality of life improvements. Let's take a look. The center of this update is changes to the game timer. The tournament timer now grants 30 seconds per round to your time bank halved from the previous 1 minute, and starts at 2 minutes and 30 seconds down from the previous 3. Similarly, the standard timer was also halved, now granting 1 minute per round down from 2 and starts at 3 minutes down from 5. In addition, every time your opponent passes the initiative to you, you gain an additional 5 seconds before your time bank starts ticking down. This was an issue previously since certain cards and their animations would take too much time off of the clock to play, and cause you to lose time that you shouldn't have. Adding these times up, you get 45 seconds per round instead of the 1 minute for the tournament timer, and 1 minute and 15 seconds for the standard timer. Remember that the free 5 seconds don't get added to your time bank. So if you decide to pass instantly, you will not gain the benefits of the additional 5 seconds, whatever those may be. The length and fatigue of an artifact game is something that has been discussed at length previous to this update. This update should mitigate some of these issues and even out the disparity between people that take a long time on their turns and people that like to play quick. Unfortunately to slower players and decks like Mono Blue that require a lot of play evaluation and thinking, this is a nerf, so to speak. Nevertheless, the reception from the pros has been generally positive, many of who were all too familiar having to play against the clock. I don't think we can press it. The additional free 5 seconds provides really good peace of mind when your time bank is down to under 10 seconds during the late game. Further changes in this category, the new tournament timer will also be used in gauntlet games for both draft and constructed, while the Cult Arms event and global matchmaking will still use the standard timer. Prized play players who aren't accustomed to the tournament timer will have to adapt, as they are granted effectively half the time as they were before. Artifact really shines when there is a fast pace back and forth between you and your opponent. In a game where you can only do one thing at a time before your opponent does their one thing, the action phase can sometimes feel like a stretched out single turn before combat. Of course, artifacts' complexity and decision trees don't really lend themselves to a crystal clear play at a glance, but there is something to be said about learning to react fast and smart. Hopefully this new timer will promote the satisfying rhythmic back and forth that it seems like the game was designed in mind with. Alongside the changes mentioned before, the maximum length of custom messages has also been increased. This pairs with the new bindable key that you can set to quickly send custom messages to congratulate your opponent on their sick plays. Among a slew of bug fixes, there was also a massive nerf to the imps who lost their festive holiday hat. Time will tell how this change impacts the game as a whole, but let's be honest, it won't be positive. For a comprehensive list of the changes, there will be a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.